Hello and welcome to GPCA TV. I'm John Baker and I'm here in Dubai at the annual GPCA Forum. The association has used this year's event to, to launch its Leaders of Tomorrow program, inviting students to learn more about the industry by attending the forum. I'm talking now to Abdulaziz Aloudan, the Executive Vice President of Human Resources at SABIC, who's been involved in the program closely. Well, welcome. Could you just explain the Leaders of Tomorrow program that the GPCA has set up here and why it's so important? Well, thank you, John. Well, uh, lead, the Leaders of Tomorrow program uh, is really a flagship program within GPCA. It's been recently launched, um, but today it's really taking a twist in terms of a sense of urgency. We do have the sense of urgency coming in from the industry changes, the industry dynamics pressure on the chemical industry, there's a greater need now to accelerate the development uh, of our talent, ease the onboarding of them from the academia uh, part uh, of their life cycle or their life into the more professional uh, hitting the ground running uh, talent that the company could or companies in the GCC really could capitalize on. And the program is being, back, being backed by most of the major producers in the region, is that, um, was that hard to achieve? Well, with the, with the momentum that is created right now, um, if I would talk about SABIC, for example, um, our chairman, uh, the chairman of GPC, GPCA, Mr. Yusuf Lebanian, the CEO of, of SABIC, um, at SABIC we have the talent development as really one of the foundations of our strategy. So uh, it's one of the um, elements of success that we have defined. Uh, it's the element that we have focused on from top leadership uh, at the company. And we do have programs in place that really ease the transition of, of uh, students or scholars from the academia to their professional life, and not just focusing on the technical side um, of their accelerated learning, but it's more on the leadership side. And that addresses the transformational part of the industry as well. And did you find it easy to get the candidates to come on the, uh, the program here for the first time? Well, I think that uh, with the uh, with the turnout that we've had uh, yesterday uh, at the session, I think that we need to seriously think of expanding even, uh, even the space available for, for our people. Um, it's a great opportunity. It's very practical. It really closes the gap um, that many of our students look up to in terms of gaining, which is addressing really what's happening practically in the industry today. How can they accelerate the learning? How can they really uh, attach themselves to the organization and immediately have impact as they join the organization, instead of going through the normal life cycle of two to three years of learning the organization, understanding the strategy, how to navigate within the organization. So it's kind of focus on self-leadership uh, and that, in my opinion, really better prepares them to engage immediately in the organization and start to make impact. Right, I was going to ask what sort of skills and uh, uh, abilities you're looking for. Well, mainly, personally, I do not see a big gap uh, from a technical point of view, um, what we need to address more and really start to focus on is the, on the leadership side. Um, the whole change of the industry, the dynamics, um, even the way that the millennials think is completely different uh, than how the previous generation thought or, uh, or, or uh, opted to make impact in the organization. Um, it's really creativity. Uh, problem solving, uh, inclusiveness, uh, engagement, uh, sense of urgency, a winning attitude, things that probably did not come at the top of the agenda of the previous generation, but with the changes in the industry, these kind of uh, come to the top of the priority today. And do you think it would be a natural progression to sort of create sort of intern programs for, for students to bring them in temporarily? Well, we do today have co-op programs. Uh, for example, at SABIC, we do have um, a significant intake of programs. Uh, students at the kind of sophomores or towards the end of their academia, we take them in, get them exposed to uh, real projects in the organization, real, get them exposed to how decisions are made, um, how priorities are made, uh, what, what the organization should focus on, what's happening in the industry. So it's kind of bridging that gap uh, quite early before they join the company. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, John. Um, good luck the with the whole program. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think it's a good opportunity for students to 
have a look about the chemical industry, what's going on, what's the challenges, what is the company that is com competitive in the industry. I've learned so many stuff. I learned about the industry, uh, especially that we don't really get to learn about the industry in, uh, during our university classes. So I think this is very important because once you step out of the real world, you'll we'll be so shocked of the industry and what's really happening in there. The networking is here just uh, so uh, valuable and we need to connect uh, as, uh, as I'm from Oman to connect with uh, other people from other companies, from other nationalities. So we need to build our network. I got to know uh, a lot of people, CEOs, share experiences with them. And I also gained um, public speaking skills, so just by looking at the executives and the CEOs presenting, I perceived how a person should grab the attention of other people talking, of the audience. They just made me aware of what might uh, be happen at the industry. And I uh, hope that uh, in for the next years, it will have the, some workshops so I think it will be good for the students to know what they are going to do in the future. The lot program uh, of this uh, annual forum had, uh, you know, has uh, helped me like really tremendously because they have introduced the basic uh, fundamentals uh, of petrochemical industries and also uh, uh, they have, uh, you know, broadens my horizon on the skill sets that the major companies are looking for.